I'm gonna have to sync this in post. <clears throat> but what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Good, good early morning. It's 8 a.m. here in Buena Park, California. And today we are at the Tesla Service Center. It's a different one today. It's my first time at the Tesla Service Center after taking delivery of my car. Actually, it's my second time. I tried to come last week and they said it was gonna take too long and I couldn't wait that long. So today is a day that a lot of things on my car are getting fixed. It's actually not a lot of things, but it's a few things that have been kind of bugging me and I think it's time for them to get fixed. So one of the things that we're getting fixed today are, we're just getting a simple tire rotation. And as you guys know, Tesla's have very minimal maintenance when it comes to these things. You know, it's windshield wiper fluid, they're changing the tires and there's tire rotation. So today I'm just getting a tire rotation going on a Christmas road trip tomorrow. So I wanna make sure my tires are good for that, checking the tire pressure, all that good things. And then the other one is I'm fixing my door. So for the past couple of months, I've noticed that my door does not close all the way, my driver door, ever so slightly, like it closes to the point that it functions. But if you stand on the outside, you can see that it actually isn't flush with the rest of the car. So today they're getting that all fixed. I wanted to film all this other stuff, uh, but as soon as I pulled up to the service center, a few people actually were kind of tricked out by my car. They're like, oh my God, it looks so sick. And they're looking at the calipers and how I had it wrapped and uh, how I had my, my Tesla emblems blacked out. And they were just freaking out over the car. And that's the one cool thing about Tesla is like they always say, oh, they're not customizable. But every time I come up to either a, sh a show or people in the parking lot, they always freak out at my car. So it was cool that the moment I pulled up to the service center, three people came outside asking me all these questions about the car. But, uh, but yeah, the car's already in service and uh, I'm just gonna talk about my experience today. And over here, we got a bunch of new Teslas that are gonna be taking delivery. They're all white. <laughs> but it's funny too, this is actually the delivery center that handled my whole delivery earlier this year. It's crazy to think it's already been almost, I think 10, 11 months since I've gotten my car. It's so, so wild. But yeah, all these people should be taking delivery either today or tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just a few more Teslas already on the road. A few more Teslas, as I should say. Over here, we got a Model S Plaid just outside on display. Brand new. When I came last week, this wasn't here, but the thing is so sick. So sick. I guess you can take this home today. Tesla's been doing really good at their delivery times. I know before, like I waited six months for my car, and I know some people are taking delivery within weeks, uh, if not a month, of putting their order in, which is crazy. Because um, I waited six, six and a half months. And you got a Model 3. This also has the same thing on the front, drive home today. Nice gray color, black interior. Then we got another red one over there black interior so we're just waiting in the waiting room if you can call it that it's more just like a lounge with some coffee tables other tesla enthusiasts it's crazy i ran into that couple again and we got to talking about long range versus performance and they didn't know that you can appraise your car and see how much it actually is worth now because uh, tesla's actually increase in value uh not like regular cars where they decrease as soon as you take it off the lot but um but yeah, we're still waiting. Things seem to be going just as normal. Uh, I got a notification on my app that they're made, they're working on the car. So yeah, still just playing the waiting game. And I don't think I explained this earlier, but the way you set up a Tesla mobile service appointment is that it's all done through the Tesla mobile app. So you literally just open your app, scroll down to service, and you hit whatever is wrong with your car, whether it's something wrong with your windows, your windshield, you need windshield wiper fluid, you need tire rotation, whatever it is, uh, you can just select it all on the mobile app. And once you bring it to the service center, the technicians already know exactly what they're working on because when you put your service in on the app, you also have the options to upload photos, videos, and write down any concerns uh, within the app. So they know specifically what you're trying to communicate with them and they know what they need to work on which I think is super, super dope. Also within the app, they will give you a pre-estimate. So let's say you need your tires done, you need X, Y, and Z done, they'll give you an estimate. But the clutch part is, since you're driving a computer essentially, let's say you put, you need a tire rotation, 
they can also see, oh, your windshield wiper fluid is low, oh, your tire pressure is low, oh, your firmware for whatever is out of date and needs to be updated. These are the perks of driving a Tesla. These are the perks of driving a computer because they can literally see everything that's wrong or not wrong with your car. And I think that's super, super clutch, super, super dope. All right, cool, so now let's talk about the price. So with the tire rotation, checking the tire pressure, and them trying to fix the door, it should have cost me $305. But catch this, since they didn't fix the door, that got scratched off and the tire rotation ended up being only 65 bucks. Now you're saying, why, why would you pay for a tire rotation? Now I'm still within warranty of my car and I don't wanna risk putting my car out of warranty by going somewhere and something happening. And I'd rather just have it checked by Tesla while it's still under warranty at this point. It's 65 bucks, I'd rather just cough that up and then I can go somewhere free after my warranty is up and get it done for free. So um, 65 bucks in total, I was there for about an hour. So not too bad overall. All right, so here's the verdict. Just a flat out say, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10, seven out of 10. Here are my reasons why. Tire rotation, tire pressure, all that went perfectly well. I mean, that's very simple, very easy uh, work to do. Now, when it comes down to my door not closing all the way, basically their reasoning, I call it excuse, but their reasoning or excuse was uh, that that is in spec of the car. So basically when you first pick up your car, they give you that time to basically resolve any issues that you see with the car. Um, I do not believe that this was something that was there when I first got the vehicle. Um, and I'm, I've just noticed it within the past month. Um, you know, I've added modifications to the car and they even said actually the modifications that I have on the car have nothing to do with how the door is closing, but the car is within spec and there's nothing that they can do about it. And I think that's kind of crazy. You know, you spend, you know, that amount of money. I feel like they should at least try uh, to physically do something and show you like, hey, this actually, because basically their excuse was if we pull it, then it's going to be too tight and all this stuff. I'm like, well, I would, I would prefer you show me that this is an issue and this this problem could be resolved or it can't be resolved. Like show, I, I'd rather see it versus just words. I'm an actions guy versus a words guy. Um, and then, you know, the customer service there was, was actually really good. Everyone was super nice, super helpful. Um, they saw me filming, no one said anything. They just kind of looked like, oh, cool, he does YouTube. Um, so customer service was a 10 out of 10. So that's what's giving me the rating of a six or a seven out of 10. Um, but yeah, like I said, Tesla's barely have any maintenance. Sometimes you have issues that you know you need to bring it in. Um, I actually found out about another issue with the door or the, the trunk lid from the guy that kept talking to me while I was there. Uh, his trunk lid kept making a weird motor noise. Turns out that that's normal. He wanted to check it on my car. My car made the same noise. Then we went to one of the display Tesla Model Ys and that car actually didn't do it. So we were trying to figure out what that issue was and same thing it's within spec that's normal for your version of your car and uh yeah and it's all within warranty still so it's not like oh i'm out of warranty and i can't you know pay for these things and or it's out of warranty and i would have to pay for these things um it was just things that simply just weren't really a big enough issue so yeah so yeah again i have to rate this experience a six or seven out of ten um, I really wish they were able to fix that door for me, but nonetheless, the service was a 10 out of 10. Everyone was super nice, super kind, uh, and hopefully I can go back again and I can give them a 10 out of 10. And I think it was a great experience and I can't wait to go back. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that playlist over there. I'll catch you in the next one.